Jay Golden here with Wally Armstrong. Wally, who took up golf, I would say, what, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, just a beginner, a senior golfer, uh, 72 years old. Wally had <laughs> played on the tour for how many years? Uh, I played about 12 years, 320 tournaments. And your best finish at the Masters? Yeah, fifth place. Fifth place at the Masters. Wally Armstrong has been around. And one of the great uh, things that you got involved with and maybe even developed and invented was snag golf. Could yep. you tell us Starting a little bit about golf, that? It's a mobile golf game. It has plastic clubs and tennis balls that stick onto Velcro targets. And uh, we created this so that we could take the game to where the kids are, into the inner cities, into the schools, bring golf to them in a fun way that was safe and that they could gain all the feelings and understanding of the game in the context of where they're playing and where they're uh, involving their lives with friendships. And so then uh, it gets them started and then we can work them on into the regular golf uh, instructional clubs like you're doing over at the Winter Pines. And Wally, uh, you're also, uh, I wouldn't say a golf minister, but certainly religion plays a part in, in your teaching and in golf. How does that go together? Well, I was very fortunate when I was on the PGA Tour, I was a part of the Tour Chapel, at which they have once a week, and there were players out there at that time, Bernard Longer, Tom Lehman, Scott Simpson, Don Pooley. Now they have uh, they have Ricky Fowler and Bubba and uh, a bunch of these players, and they still meet every week. So that was a real inspiration to me and a real strength. And then even today I do a lot of uh, clinics for churches and for youth groups. and. Uh, Anywhere I can have an opportunity to share about my love for God, I take advantage of it. And also, uh, this is Senior Golf Insider, which is going to springboard your career, Wally. You've, Absolutely. you've done I, a fourth place I, in the Masters, I getting need, thousands of kids involved. need in more springboarding. <laughs> <laughs> but for the seniors, and you've done so much teaching, so many clinics, yeah. clinics, and you've experienced so much, how about a tip or two for a senior, let's say to hit the ball a little longer? Hit it longer, yeah. Well, the most important thing is is to be able to get a good, solid wrist set. Um, and that's what I really teach. It's not how long you swing, but if you can get those wrists set, I like to say 90 degrees, and one way to practice that is just take your grip, take your club, and bring it up and just lay the club on your shoulder. And if you can do that very easily, then you've got your hand setting in the right position. And when you just set it like that, and then just turn your shoulder and raise your hands up, that's where you should be. Now, you don't have to go way up here if you can do that just b even below your shoulders and get this 90 degree set, that's where the power comes in, storing that up and then, you know, that will open up and release the power through the ball. Okay, so, uh, so, so we're setting and does that release automatically or should you also try to unrelease it to square well, the club I head? Try to, I try to go all the way around to the finish point. So when you finish, you want to swing all the way around and then you should be able to lay that club right on your shoulder on the forward side. You shouldn't be out here or rolling over, but it should come naturally around an arc and lay on the shoulder. And of course, my training aid, the hanger, is uh, what we apply to the grip. Um, and the senior golfers, it's a great training tool for them because if they don't have a good grip or they're not getting their wrist set, they just simply put this little thing on top of the grip and it sets their wrist automatic, gives them that set, that then they can gain more power in that way. So uh, that's another way to do it. And that's Wally Armstrong, who's done so much for golf in so many ways. God bless you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Jay. Love being with you, bro. I hope you like this tip and the ones that I post every day. I'd appreciate it if you give me a like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow golfers. Also, follow me on social media because I want to help you get great at golf.